gonna kind of have like a mukbang here. Don't in the south we don't get Shake Shack. I think the nearest one where I live is like Nashville, which is like four hours away. But it's up here in the north in New York City. Have to get some Shake Shack going. So I am ready to get digging because I'm not gonna eat too much tonight on my Emirates flight. So looking forward to it. All right, so I just been editing this whole video. Me in the future, I guess, from when this was recorded. This is recorded two months ago. <laughs> so while editing this video, I realized that I did not record at all when I was in Italy. So out of New York JFK with Emirates, there's three flights a day. There's two non-stop straight from New York JFK to Dubai. And then there's one that's a stop in Milan. And that's the flight that I'm on now. 
So once you get to Milan, everyone has to get off the plane. The crew, the captains, everyone on, on the plane has to get off and they clean it. And so if you're going to onto Dubai, you have like another two hours. If you're staying in Milan or connecting elsewhere, then you obviously go through the airport, immigration, all that, and then you're you're on with whatever you're gonna do. Uh, for some reason, I didn't vlog, which isn't such a shocker to be honest, because I'm not that I'm not the best at vlogging. But I thought I would just go ahead and explain to you what I did in Italy during those two hours. So I came off the plane, and I actually had family that I've taken this flight before, and they said to go into the cafe. There's like a little cafe area or a little place where you could get amazing sandwiches or paninis or whatever. So I went and got myself a, an excellent excellent panini and uh, while I was eating I called my family and spoke to them inside the terminal and in the terminal it's a very small like little circle area it's not very big it's not very fancy it has everything you need but if you want to go get like a nice panini or coffee there's a great Italian coffee shop there that's pretty authentic so after I ate, I went and got some water, went over to like the local, little convenience store that you can buy like water and little gifts and things like that. Went to get some water. And by the way, if you're traveling long haul, after you go through security, buy yourself some water and keep the receipt in case to ask to see it through security checks or whatever, because you can bring it on, which is a great tip for you if you need to get some water because you never know if those crews are gonna really bring around water for you so much. That's why it's good to go and get your own water so I went to got I went to go get my own water and then I actually just kind of sat there by the gate for a little bit and heard all this Italian spoken and everything and I've been to Italy before if you didn't know I'm actually part Italian my grandpa was northern Italian towards the Venice side and Milan's towards the northwest side of Italy so I've never been there and wanted to go there and it felt very similar to the northeast side of Italy and this it was nice to hear all this Italian being spoken because the last time I've been to Italy was seven years so it and I took Spanish so obviously I don't speak Italian that much but I'm decent in Spanish and a lot of Spanish words are Italian so I could understand a little bit but I loved hearing people talk in Italian I just it made me feel right at home so now I am boarding my flight to Dubai
ضع القناع على وجهك ثم تنفس بصورة All right, so I wanted to go over a little bit about my flying experience with Emirates because I think it's so important, even for the airline, if they're watching this, who knows, that they could gain some insights, some experiences from customer or anything like that. I wanna do that with all my flight reviews at the end, just so I could, I guess I like to talk about it too, but I think it also helps them a lot. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Now, first off, I do wanna say that the most if, if, we, if you ask me what is the most loyal airline you are to by miles, Emirates is definitely my most loyal airline by miles. I have a lot of miles with them. I've flown them now for three or four straight years now. I go to Dubai fairly often. I would say I'm definitely not the average customer, but I've flown them enough times to know kind of what to expect and and things like that. I wanted to go over a few of the things that I liked and then a few things that I think can use a little bit of improving. How was my Emirates flight? Well, the things that I did like are as follows. The stopover in Milan is fantastic. Now, so it this, this might depend on several different things. Some people might prefer just flying from New York JFK to Dubai nonstop, which is like a 14, 13 hour flight, depending on winds and which way you're going. It's a long flight. So if you're in economy class and you're crammed in there and you just wanna you just wanna stand up and get some stretching and, and things going, you may not like flying nonstop like that. 
if you're flying business or first class, you, you probably will like flying nonstop like that because it's it's it saves you time. It's more direct. It's you're in business class. You might as well enjoy it. But if you're in economy class, that's when things start to get interesting. For me, I wasn't sure how I like a, a stopover because it kind of breaks the journey up and makes it seem longer. And it kind of it does make it longer. But I found it to be more enjoyable. Now, Milan's like right there in the middle between New York and Dubai. So it basically cuts it in half. And so once you get off that plane, you have two hours in the terminal. You can go do what you want. And also what I noticed with the Milan stuff is it's a completely different experience because people come off the plane. You might ha you probably will have an empty plane on the way back to Dubai, which was fantastic because it's an A380 and it only had like two or 300 passengers and that plane seats up to 500 people. So a lot of people had their own rows to themselves from the flight back from Milan to Dubai, which is amazing. And I've never been on an empty A380 because everyone just got off in Milan from New York. So it, that part was special and I loved that part. Another thing that I loved for my flight was the on-time arrival. In fact, that's one of the most important things to me when I fly is being on time for everything, on time departure, on time arrival, all of that matters to me. And in fact, we were early. We weren't just on time, we were early. I think we were like 30 minutes early, which is just amazing. It worked very well and I, I love that part. And then for Emirates, that was excellent. Another thing that I liked is the in-flight entertainment. It's best in the world. Nothing's gonna beat it. It keeps you entertained and it's, it's fantastic. So what did I feel needed to be improved on my Emirates flight? Well, the seat that I had was not very good. My seat would not recline. I would press the button to the side and I'd window seat, press the button to the side and nothing would happen. And when I would get in and out of my seat, the seat would go like in and it would like clunk in and out and like that but the seat would not recline. And this A380 was not very old. It was five years old, which compared to other airlines around the world, that's a young aircraft. That's a very young aircraft around the world. For Emirates, it's decently old because they're, I mean, they're the oldest planes maybe are 15, 16 years old and then they retire them, but it's not a fairly old airplane. And so it shouldn't be having those seat problems like that. And so I could not recline in my seat for that entire journey because even from New York to Milan and Milan to Dubai, you use the same seats, which made that part of the journey not so enjoyable for me. And the seat is an important part. I know for a lot of people, the seat is the most important part of their journey. Now, the food on this flight, I felt was not very good. Compared to my other Emirates flights, I've always kind of liked the food. And I thought the food on these flights was not very good. It was not very tasty. It tasted very mushy and it just wasn't, it wasn't enjoyable. Of course, the desserts and the, the breads and stuff were, were great and the snacks were good, but just the main meals, I mean, the beef and the, the chickens just were not tasty. They had no taste and they were just mushy and it wasn't, I felt that compared to my previous fights, it wasn't as good as how it should be. So what I've realized, the last thing that I felt needs improving is I figured out how the Emirates cabin crew work. So with the Emirates cabin crew, when the flights are full, the cabin crew, I think, get overwhelmed. The cabin crew get over overwhelmed because there's so many people on that flight. On my flight from New York to Milan was a pretty full flight. There were a few open seats, but not many. From Milan to Dubai, there were lots of open seats, and I noticed the cabin crew were more, more attentive. They would help more. They would bring drinks more versus in from New York to, Dubai, uh, New York to Milan. They would just kind of give you the normal meal services, take up the trash and that's all you'd, you'd never really see them you'd never they would never come out and bring drinks around and things like that unless you specifically asked them to versus on the Mi milan flight to dubai it wasn't that way they were coming around with drinks and they were it's just a better overall service but that is my review on my emirates flights i'm stored up on so much content from my trips to dubai i have so many i guess you could say trip reports or flight reviews that i'm gonna do and i'm stored up on my phone which i do all this on my phone which is you know the iphone quality is not bad really it's pretty good and i have a tennis max which is basically what you need but if you had any similar experiences or anything like that comment below and just tell me you know do you agree with what i said have you experienced the same thing that i have let me know and also you can get at me on i'll plug my Instagram handle right here at Tom Stanley underscore underscore. You can hit me up over there. If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button for me. I really do appreciate that because I love talking aviation and flying and all that. It's, I mean, even with the, the Emirates shirt that I got in Dubai, I mean, I just love it all. I just want to say thank you for watching this review, this video. And I got a lot, like I said, I got a lot more content coming. So thank you for watching.